Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Today's video is part of a playlist and it's hosted by Tammy from The Rusted Willow and Ellie from DIY From House to Home. And of course, I'll have a link to their channels in the description box below. I really do hope you check them out. And I'll have a link to the playlist as well so you can see what all the other folks have created. The first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to turn everyday items into decor. This is just a little jar that I had. It's almost like a mini canister type thing. And you could really use any type of jar, a spaghetti jar or jelly jar or something like that. I just happen to have this one on hand in my stash. Since I want this to be interchangeable for the seasons, I cut out a round circle out of chipboard the same size as the lid. That way I can glue or whatever to this and then not affect the lid. What I'm making is going to be a cloche. At least that's what I call it. <laughs> I wasn't sure if y'all would know what a cloche was, so I googled it so I would get the definition right. And as it turns out, I learned something new. Because according to Google, it means a small translucent cover for protecting or forcing outdoor plants, or it means a woman's close fitting bell shaped hat. I actually have a cloche hat, but what else would you call what I'm making? Because I've always called it a cloche. Anyway, I didn't know it was used for gardening, so you learn something new every day. I was originally going to use these small mini pumpkins. And my thought was to just dump them in and that be pretty much it as far as styling goes. So I added a little glue. Um, I added glue to this. I glued some moss on, gosh, talk. I glued on some moss and then I gave it a little bit of trim so it would fit nice inside the jar. But I didn't glue or attach the circle to the lid in any way. I just kind of held it there and then put it on the jar. But I wasn't super happy with how the pumpkins looked. It's not that they looked bad, they just didn't look quite right. So I changed it out for one that I got from Hobby Lobby and that's it. Like a lot of the other projects that I create, the size really depends on what you use. So you could use bigger glass jars and make them larger. But I enjoy tier tray decor so I made mine on the smaller side. I say that this a lot on my channel but when you see the projects on my channel, please know that these are pretty much customizable if you're like more into farm glam or rustic distress or whatever, you can usually make the projects bigger or smaller, customize them to what your decor is for your home. And not to spill the beans, but at Christmas time, I plan on putting a little tree inside this one. You could also do like a turkey, maybe a pot of gold for St. Patrick's Day. You get the idea. So you see my cats in a lot of my videos and this one that you see the most is Captain. He's definitely a mama's boy, but when mama is ready to craft, it's time for you to move out the way, buddy. And I'm not sure why I had this random old wine glass on hand, but I decided to upcycle it into a candle holder. So I painted the stem of it, or what's gonna be the stem of it, green. And I painted the rest of it orange. I got these dollar napkins from the Dollar Tree and I cut out that little print. And I've tried to do what folks call like fussy cutting, which just means that you're trying to get detailed with all of your cutting out. I let the glass dry, the paint dry, but I accidentally touched part of it and I made a mark, but it's okay because we're gonna cover it up with the next part. I took some Mod Podge and put that on the glass in the area that I was gonna put the napkin. And then I added some to the back of the napkin. And then I carefully placed the napkin onto the glass and gently pushed it down. Just be careful with this part because if you have thinner or like less sturdy napkin, it could tear. I let it all dry and I embellished it with some raffia, AKA the hula hoop skirt from Dollar Tree. And I set my candle on it and that's it. You could go to like an estate sale or garage sale, thrift store or something like that and find all kinds of sizes um, of glasses to make these like this project and then you can make it like a centerpiece like paint maybe some of them like pumpkins Mod Podge on other ones. I think it would be super cute Did 
Did you know that you can make faux chicken wire from a wire Dollar Tree wastebasket? I've seen several DIYers do this, so I thought I'd give it a try. The first step is to use a wire snipper or a pair of scissors, not your best pair of course, and separate the wire from the rims. The idea that for this project came from the very talented Holly from Hot and Humble Pie. She also has a faux chicken wire tutorial that you'll enjoy too. I'll link her channel below. I'm just cutting the wire down to the shape of the frame and initially I was using wire snippers but my scissors really proved to be a lot easier so that's how I finished it. And since the waste basket is white, I took some black, brown, and orange paint to try and create a rusted old wire look. And I'm taking my chippy brush and just kind of dabbing it all over. Taking a cue from how Holly did it, I'm gluing on a popsicle stick first. Around that frame there, you can see. And then I'm adding the wire and a good amount of hot glue and then another popsicle stick on top. So essentially the wire is being sandwiched in between. I then decide to darken up my frame with some Waverly Wax in the color Antique, just kind of lightly rubbing it on. I cut some Dollar Tree little mini styrofoam pumpkins in half and I recommend using a knife with like a serrated edge. It'll be easier overall. I was struggling to cut these with a regular kitchen knife and that was just a waste. And now that I'm done with that, I'm adding some Spanish moss to the bottom of this frame and it's time to glue the pumpkins to the moss. I'm going to use the word gather on a little mini sign. I always try to cut out my rub on transfers first, but I suppose you could just rub it on while it's on the sheet. I don't know. Just do what works best for you. I made this little palette type sign out of popsicle sticks and now I'm just dirtying it up a little bit, dirtying it up a little bit with my distressing ink and I'm attaching the rub on transfer and I'm gluing it to the corner of my little sign. But I feel like it's missing something, so I'm gonna add a jute twine bow and a little fall flower to the other corner. I just love Holly's projects and I enjoy all the inspo she gives me. I also really like the fact that I learned how to make faux chicken wire, so I'm sure you'll see it again in some future projects. I love making signs and BB Craft was kind enough to send me some round wood circles. They are also sponsoring today's video. I decided to make a cute little sign for the corner of my porch. I'm about to switch over my decor from what I call the late summer to the fall. Anyways, I'm staining the top and the bottom with Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I painted the center orange. I'm not sure what happened to that footage, but the best part's showing right now. It's pulling back that tape. I cut out this decal with my Cricut and I probably sound like a broken record, but seriously, if you don't have a Cricut, don't let that stop you from creating because you could freehand it, trace it, stencil, lots of ways to still create really cute stuff. And now I'm just figuring out how I want to arrange these foliage on the top and the simple bow that I made out of burlap ribbon. And this is how it turned out. I really think it's cute, but if I did this one again, I would lower the orange just a little bit and I, then I would, of course, lower the Hello Pumpkin part of it. So thanks again to BB Crafts for sponsoring today's video. Their information is going to be in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. And don't forget, the playlist is going to be down there. The channels, the other host channels, Tammy and Ellie, is going to be down there. So I hope you check it out as well. Thanks, y'all, so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget, the links to the channels and the playlist are going to be in the description box below. And if you guys create anything or if you're inspired to create something from one of my videos, be sure and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you're creating. Or if there's something you'd like me to try, tag me. And speaking of that, 
If you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!